The 17 year old girl that Drake had an encounter with on stage is now 31 years old and has given her opinion on the matter. For those that don't know, an old video resurfaced after this whole Kendrick Lamar Drake beef of a video when Drake was on stage and was on a girl and later on after the fact he found out that she was 17 years old Even after finding out she was 17 years old, he called her thick and he still did this. <laughs> and so now she's speaking on the incident and this is what she has to say. Regarding that video going around, I was 17 back then, I'm 31 now. This was a concert that my dad took me to back when I was in high school, getting groped on, felt on, kissed on, and called thick on stage at a concert in front of your dad after he paid to took you to the concert. That is a little wild. Uh, way to go, dad. Way to go. And she's arguing that it's okay because, as it says, Drake's entourage actually picked me out of the crowd of people. It wasn't Drake himself. But that actually makes it worse when it's the entourage. That's even more suspect. If anything, you expect the entourage to protect you and not bring somebody that look underage on stage. But when the entourage knows what you're into, it, 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 it all makes it worse if it's the entourage. I don't want to pin these kind of charges on Drake, but you know, R. R Kelly's entourage were given some specific instructions about what type of girls to pull out of the crowd. Uh, look it up. I mean, entourages, they got a job <laughs> with specific instructions. She says, by the way, performers always bring fans on stage. It's a part of the show. I mean, you're not helping him by sounding groomed. I just, just. You're not helping. <laughs> it was nothing then. It's still nothing now. We get that it's nothing for you. This man is on some <laughs> on some R. Kelly, I'm fighting for my life <laughs> type stuff right now. And you not helping. It is something giving the track record. He says, now that I've cleared up these false narratives. No, you've cleared up nothing. This man has a resurfacing track record. The woman who turned 18 years old and Drake rented out the entire restaurant to celebrate her birthday. So Bella Harris is a model that Drake has known ever since she was 16 years old. And when she turned 18, Drake actually went to DC and rented out an entire restaurant for her birthday. Because Drake went all out for this 18 year old girl's birthday, a lot of people suspected that they were dating. And and it didn't help that she posted a photo of them on her Instagram and captioned it, no place I'd rather be, with a blue heart emoji. A lot of this stuff is just weird. A year later, in May of 2016, 29-year-old Drake was spotted eating dinner with 18-year-old Hailey Bieber in West Hollywood. Due to their allegedly flirty interaction and Drake wearing a matching H necklace, rumors of them dating began circulating, with Entertainment Tonight even alleging that the two hooked up at Drake's Memorial Day party. However, during this time, Hailey did an interview with E! News, revealing that she'd known Drake for around four years at this point, meaning that a 25-year-old Drake first met Haley when she was just 14. Like, that is weird. What about your relationship with Drake? Tell me about your friendship. How did uh, this all come about? I love him. I met him in Australia and um, he's honestly so fantastic and a great friend and a great uh, great role model. You know, we text, we just texted each other the other day and he was like, I miss you so much. I was like, I miss you more. He's coming to Atlanta, so I'm definitely gonna go and see him. I'm so excited, yeah. What advice does he give you? Like, what does he say? Uh, about boys, he helps me. What? Yeah, 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 he's great. He's wonderful, I love What's him. What's his advice with boys? You know, that stays in the text messages. <laughs> that is weird. Here's the tough part. Kendrick Lamar is low-key doing to Drake 
what Hannibal Burris did to Bill Cosby. When Hannibal Burris did that little skit in Philly that got recorded on a cell phone, it started the floodgates of an army of women coming out, some with, I suppose, legitimate stories, some with some utter, absolute, 100% nonsensical stories about when they bumped into Bill Cosby in the Jim Crow era sometime. It, so what's about to start happening is similar floodgates of everybody coming out the woodwork to try to get a piece of this. So it's going to be ridiculous civil lawsuits. This has gotten to the point where it's beyond a rap battle. Like we're looking at like serious problems taking place. And I don't approve that message. Now, if Drake is out there clowning and doing stuff with, with young girls, then, you know, yeah, you, you got to suffer consequence and penalty for that. But we know how it goes with that Me Too train. It gets longer and longer and longer and more and more people come out the woodwork trying to get a check. And that's that's what Kendrick Lamar is unearthing and opening up on Drake right here. We about to see an army of washed up chicks in their thirties talking about what Drake did to them some 13, 14 years ago when they were underage. I guarantee that's about to happen and it's about to get bad. I don't know if it's about to be on, on some, you know, get as bad as Tupac Biggie type stuff, but if somebody about to potentially go through all kind of civil lawsuits, if not time over all of these allegations and people propping up out the woodwork, uh, it could turn into an issue.